Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Golf Vlogs. Today, we have a very special treat for you. I am making my all-time favorite sandwich in the world. It is so good. It is a rib meat sandwich. It's only four ingredients. That's it. We have the ribs, we have cabbage, we have pickles, and we have homemade barbecue sauce. Let's get started. All right, so these ribs right here are absolutely the best ribs you've ever had in your life. They're so good. I would take these ribs and I would probably put them up in any competition in any part of the United States, whether it be Memphis, Texas, or wherever. They're great. They're awesome. They're already, I already made them. They're pre-cooked. If you guys want to see how I make my ribs, we can do another video in the future. Just comment down below whether you want me to show you how to do these ribs. They're, they are great. Look at them. They're so gorgeous. Full rack of ribs, 14 bones. So nice. Now, put them in the microwave. We're going to leave them in the plastic wrap. Yeah, you, if, you, if you don't have plastic wrap, put them in the microwave. Not like that way. But if you put them in the plastic wrap, it's going to create that steam and that moist. Make them very moist and fall off the bone. I mean, you can see these ribs. They're, they're not burnt. They're not overcooked. They're basically almost falling apart in the plastic wrap in my hand. All right. So I put these in here for two minutes. After that, they're going to be ready, ready to go. We're going to put on our gloves. We're going to pull off all the pork. And then we'll go from there. All right, guys. So uh, normally, I, the, remember, the ribs are already cooked. They're already been smoked for four hours. They've been wrapped in plastic wrap to continue the cooking process in the fridge. Uh, the ribs are out of the fridge. We'll put them in the microwave. As I said, two minutes earlier. Uh, but normally, I do two minutes for a half rack. This is a full on full rack. So I did three minutes to make them really good. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these ribs out of the microwave. Now, guys, you're probably thinking microwave. If you don't use the microwave, put them in the oven. Put them in the oven at 350, heat them up, put barbecue sauce on them, whatever. They're going to be a phenomenal. All right, so I'm going to pull these babies out. They are hot. All right, so we have these beautiful ribs. We're going to flip them over, we'll take off the plastic. Woo, and they are hot. That's what we want. Hot ribs. Oh, they're already, you gotta be careful because these ribs are fall off the bone. Like I said, they're already falling off the bone. And now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take off the bones, separate the meat from the bones. Cause this is the main part of the sandwich. And uh, we definitely, y'all let me know. We definitely gotta do a video of how I make these ribs. Uh, because they are good. Sometimes I use tongs because the ribs are very, very hot. I mean, look how beautiful that is. Rib, ribs compared to steaks and other chicken and other types of meats, they take a very long time to defrost. So, you know, usually, you know, I'll take them out several days uh, before I get ready to make them because they take so long to defrost. Uh, but it's super simple. You defrost them, you put them on your pans, rib rub and that's it put them in the smoker uh high humidity you want high humidity at about i think 300 degrees if i can remember correctly 300 degrees high humidity four hours four hours later you have this beautiful i mean look at this we're going to tear it up a little bit because we're making a sandwich and we want whole pieces of rib let's go ahead and taste one dry you know you have a good rib if you can eat dry ribs without barbecue sauce All right, guys, so anytime that you are making a sandwich, you've got to make sure that you toast your buns. This right here is a beautiful brioche bun. It's an egg-based bun, but you want to, you know, melt your butter in the pan, put it in the pan, just like so. Now, you want to wait, and I don't care what you use. Use a bottle of vermouth, use a canned good, use some rice packets, whatever. Put some kind of weight on top of that bun. Press it down a little bit. All right. And your bun is gonna to toast to perfection. All right, it's time to build our sandwich. Let's go. All right, guys, it's time to build this sandwich. I like to put a little bit of barbecue sauce on the bottom of the bun. This is homemade barbecue sauce. It is made with just whatever kind of barbecue sauce that you want. Honey, molasses, brown sugar, so good. Now, I always do my pickles on the bottom of the bun. 
Load it up. Pickles are so good. So good. Don't be cheap. Put those pickles on your bun, all right? Next, I like to add cabbage. Top of the pickles. This is raw cabbage. Go buy a cabbage head from the store, chop it up, dice it up, put it on there. Then, our amazing, beautiful ribs pulled off the bone. Take a big old handful, boom. Look at that. Don't be cheap, throw it on there. It's gonna be so good. And then, we top it with our barbecue sauce. Sack it on, put your top bun on. There you have it. One of my all time favorite sandwiches in the world. Four ingredients, bun, ribs, cabbage, pickles, barbecue sauce. Look at that. Can you taste it? Mmm. Oh my God, it's so, it really is damn good. That is damn good. The cabbage gives a little bit of a crunch. That homemade tangy barbecue sauce with that fall off the bone tender meat. That's really, that's actually really damn good. Mmm. Mmm. Anyway, Guys, I, I submit to you, please make this sandwich. It is so good. If you've never had a rib meat, not pulled pork, not pulled pork, it's a rib meat sandwich. Full rack of ribs, take off the rib meat off the bone. Make this sandwich, it is so good. It's one of the best sandwiches you've ever had. Guys, thank y'all so much for watching another episode of Golf Vlogs. Please, if you like our videos, like, comment down below, subscribe. Ring the Dean Dong bell. That way, whenever we post a new video, you get notified. Uh, if you like us, support us. Uh, we will make more videos in the future. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Golf Vlogs.